What's up, modern steaders? We've decided, and when I say we, I mean all of us modern steaders have determined that our tomatoes have blossom end rot. So we've done a bunch of research and we've come up with a few different ways how to prevent that and do an emergency fix. So we're gonna do two of them today and find out which one works the best. Let's look at the tomatoes. As you can see, we've got the blossom end rot there. They're beautiful tomatoes and they, they just start to go black on the bottom. We can't be having that. Look at that, that's just oh, discouraging. We can't be losing these tomatoes to blossom end rot. So blossom end rot can be caused by a few different things, by overwatering, underwatering, and not enough calcium. And all those overwatering and underwatering can cause not enough calcium. So we're gonna do two things to prevent this. Let's get to it. We're gonna be mixing up two and a half to three gallons of the lime mix. We're gonna be using one and a half cups of lime. The first one we're gonna be using is pelletized or pulverized lime. We're gonna add around two and a half to three gallons of water. We wanna mix this solution up nicely. To prevent blossom end rot, you just need to have plenty of calcium in your soil so you can add eggshells, lime, all that stuff has calcium in it. But if you already have blossom end rot, you need to get it there fast. The two methods we're doing today is going to get the active calcium to the tomato plants fast to prevent the blossom end rot that's already occurring. Next we're going to be using Neptune's Harvest Tomato and Veg Formula. It doesn't say on the label that this has active calcium in it, but I was told it does. And the reason why it doesn't say it is because it's just more hoops the company has to jump through to put all the information on the label. So today we're going to be using this. We're going to be mixing up five gallons. So you need an eighth of a cup per gallon. We had a good friend give this to us. This is Neptune's. This is made from fish from the sea. So this is, it doesn't, it doesn't say it's organic, but it is organic. It's great stuff. So this morning we'll actually be doing four different treatments with these two products. Yep, kind of smells like the ocean. Woohoo! So we're going to put some in a spray bottle, and we're not just going to put this on the soil, we're also going to spray this on the plants. Does that smell good? Since we already have blossom end rot starting, we want to get this to our plants quickly. And the way to do that is to spray it with a topical spray. But you want to do this early in the morning so it has time to sit in there, evaporate, and dry off. If you do it at night or later in the afternoon, it's going to sit and it could start causing mildew and mold. And So just do it first thing in the morning. So we're just going to spray our plants down with this. And this is going to give them the calcium they need right to the foliage. Smells like the ocean. I hope it don't make my tomatoes taste like the ocean. We're gonna treat the tomato plants on this side of our garden bed with the Neptune harvest, and then on that side we're gonna do it with the lime, and then we can compare and see which one works better. So we got this side sprayed, and it smells like the ocean. We're just gonna pour half of our mixture on this side. Let's go on the other side and do the same thing. All right, here we go. Keep an eye on this side and see how it does. Let's work on the other side with the lime now. 
Give this another good stir. Get the wine nice and mixed again. Mostly all stirred in there already, so that's a good sign. Fill up our water bottle. We're gonna do the same exact thing on this side so we have a good comparison. We've done a bunch of research and reading on different ways to do it, so let's find out what works best for us. There's always so many different answers on the interweb. This is probably gonna smell better anyways. So when your squirt bottle stops working on you, just take the cap off and start shaking. We wanna make sure we keep having good BLTs. We had some nice BLTs this weekend with these heirloom tomatoes and I'll tell you what, they were delicious. We wanna make sure we have plenty of those for the rest of the season. Let's pour the rest of this mixture on and see how it goes. We'll keep an eye on these plants and we'll let you know how it works out for us. Good afternoon, girls. You want to go out? You look all nice and dirty. A dirty, muddy pig's a happy pig. Hmm. Hey. Go get your food. I put food out for you. Go get it. You know you have spoiled, well-fed pigs when your pigs are in an apple orchard and there's apples all over the ground still. Those are some happy pigs. We had such a crazy busy weekend over here between getting the siding put on, the outdoor kitchen and getting the tin put up. I've got to share with you guys, we sold our barred rock pullets. All right, we hatched those out here at Lumna Acres in an incubator that we had. So selling those, we paid for all of our meat bird feed. So we got all of our meat birds that batch for free. How can you go wrong? And then we sold the Icelandic chicks that we hatched out all five of them the same day. It's just been crazy over here. Wanted to keep you in the loop about that. Oh, and another thing that happened the same day, I'm telling you, it's been nuts. One of the Icelandic chickens died. The white, creamish colored one, she was just killed over and dead. I don't know if it was old age. She didn't seem like there was anything wrong with her. We got them, I don't know, a couple of months ago from another lady. So I don't know how old they really are. So it could have just been old age or egg bound, maybe. I didn't do an autopsy, we didn't have time. I probably should have, but we composted her instead. She's in our wood chip pile. She's gonna make some nice compost for our vegetable garden. I know one of those calcium hacks is gonna save our tomato plants from the blossom end rot. We'll just have to keep an eye out and see which one does the best. And tomorrow we're gonna be siding the backside of the outdoor kitchen. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.